Well, welcome to the party. Indeed, it is a wonderful, wonderful celebration. It is with great joy and my honor to be with this lovely couple here today, Eric and Ingrid, and they invited us all to celebrate with them this beautiful union. I knew that first day we met that something was different. This was going to be big. I love you. You have and continued to bring such joy to my life, lifting me up, seeing me as I am and who I am. I promise to be your partner, not just for life, but in life. Walking with you side by side in joy, in laughter, sorrow, compassion, difficulties, adventures, and all that comes to us. Loving you, encouraging you, listening to you, caring for you, supporting you on your life's journey as you grow and evolve, combining our families in love and support, and asking our tribe, friends and family, the same thing. <laughs> in all things, we are better together. We are a force multiplier. As I have often said over the years, I carry your heart in mind, and I'll continue to do so. My love has come along. My lonely days are over, and my life is like a song. I found a dream that I could speak to. Here we are in heaven. Is this the guy? Courtney, nice, sweet, generous. I promise to look your kids as their bonus parent. I'm gonna sort the beautiful connection you share. Your kind part touches alive. I vow to nurture that kindness. In our relationship, listen with empathy, offering a safe space. And today, I pledge my unconditional love to you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. This ring I give you in faith and pledge my matrix of honor that is given in this life that I will share and care for you until life's end. Kiss your bride. <laughs> So first, I want to say thank you to all of the people that helped put this together. Our, our friends, our family, our tribe, the people that we surround ourselves with are so important to us as a community. And we appreciate sharing this day with you. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And I love you. So cheers. I see my dad's face light up when he talks about her to the way I see them interact. You can tell their love for one another runs deep and their patience for each other is unwavering. I hope you will all raise your glasses in celebration of them both and in the wise words of Commander Spock, may your love and marriage live long and prosper. <laughs> Uh, for food, 
for Raymond, for life, for opportunity, for friendship and fellowship, for mom and Eric. May they have a loving, joyous life. I don't believe there's anyone better than Eric for Ingrid. Um, they both complement each other in, way, in the best ways possible, and they both work together to make their dreams come true. Uh, I commend them for finding each other in a world where not everything is given, and not everything is easy. So, to Eric and Ingrid. Join with me in raising a toast to this beautiful man and this fabulous family. And thank you again, all of you, for coming. You're all so, so dear to us.